You are listening to the Emergency News Network, your number one source for the news, sports, music, weather, entertainment, and more. Operating on a frequency of 162.550 MHz. At this time, we have some breaking news to share with the Texas community. This is an urgent message for the state of Texas. The current situation that is taking place in Texas might spread to other states, so this might become a national state of emergency as soon as a couple of days to weeks. All residents of the state of Texas are being ordered to shelter in place in an underground shelter immediately. At this time in the state of Texas, people began to randomly ascend into the sky, mainly above dark clouds. It is unknown how people are ascending to the sky, but the clouds above Texas are being taken as a threat. Other states in the central USA area, such as North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma are beginning to send in reports about people ascending to the sky randomly, so this situation is already beginning to spread into other states. It is also unknown where these people go when being ascended, but right now we are assuming that it is somewhere you do not want to be. A message from the emergency alert system will shortly interrupt this program to give you instructions for the current situation. Please stand by. This is an urgent message from the emergency alert system, being transmitted at the request of the United States government, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is an urgent message for the state of Texas. The current situation that is taking place in Texas might spread to other states, so this might become a national state of emergency as soon as a couple of days to weeks. All residents of the state of Texas are being ordered to shelter in place in an underground shelter immediately. At this time in the state of Texas, people began to randomly ascend into the sky, mainly above dark clouds. It is unknown how people are ascending to the sky, but the clouds above Texas are being taken as a threat. Other states in the central USA area, such as North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma are beginning to send in reports about people ascending to the sky randomly, so this situation is already beginning to spread into other states. It is also unknown where these people go when being ascended, but right now we are assuming that it is somewhere you do not want to be. Shelter in place immediately. I repeat, shelter in place immediately. To shelter in place, follow these instructions. Get into an underground shelter immediately. Grab plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, toiletries, a battery-powered radio, and anything you need until further notice. If you see yourself being ascended to the sky, give all you got to get away from the light. This light is being taken as a threat to our life and should not be approached for any reason. This is a very concerning situation and must not be ignored. Civil authorities will be investigating where these ascended people end up and once they find any important information, it will be broadcasted on the emergency alert system. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is looking into the cause of this light randomly ascending people when they're caught inside the light. Crew members are flying into the cloud and are trying to inspect it and find any information that could relate to this crisis. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for further information. For more information about the current situation and what is going on right now, go to the United States government website. You can also go to the Federal Emergency Management Agency website. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed. That was a message from the emergency alert system. So yet, yeah, all residents of the state of Texas, please shelter in place immediately. To shelter in place, follow these instructions. Get into an underground shelter immediately. Grab plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, toiletries, a battery-powered radio, and anything you need until further notice. If you see yourself being ascended to the sky, give all you got to get away from the light. This light is being taken as a threat to all life and should not be approached for any reason. This is a very concerning situation and must not be ignored. Civil authorities will be investigating where these ascended people end up and once they find any important information, it will be broadcasted on the emergency alert system. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is looking into the cause of this light randomly ascending people when they are caught inside the light. 
Crew members are flying into the cloud and are trying to inspect it and find any information that could relate to this crisis. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for further information. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed, and the emergency news network will continue to broadcast any new information about the current situation once it becomes available. We will return to normal programming operations right now, however, we might have to interrupt once again should any new information become available. Thank you for listening to the Emergency News Network, and may God bless you and your family. Have a great day. This is the emergency alert system. At this time, please pay attention to this alert, as your safety depends on it. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the National Weather Service, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At approximately 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, many people began ascending to the sky somehow for no reason. It is believed that the clouds above Texas, as well as other central states, are the cause of these people ascending to the sky. This is not confirmed at this time, however, this is subject to change. More information about the current situation has not been found as of yet. It is still unknown where these people go when ascending, however we are taking all of this as a threat to human life. It is also unknown where these people go when being ascended, but right now we are assuming that it is somewhere you do not want to be. Shelter in place immediately. I repeat, shelter in place immediately. To shelter in place, follow these instructions. Get into an underground shelter immediately. Grab plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, toiletries, a battery-powered radio, and anything you need until further notice. If you see yourself being ascended to the sky, give all you got to get away from the light. This light is being taken as a threat to all life, and should not be approached for any reason. This is a very concerning situation, and must not be ignored. Civil authorities will be investigating where these ascended people end up, and once they find any important information, it will be broadcasted on the emergency alert system. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is looking into the cause of this light randomly ascending people when they're caught inside the light. Crew members are flying into the cloud and are trying to inspect it and find any information that could relate to this crisis. As a result of other states across the United States beginning to send in reports about people ascending to the sky, a national quarantine might be implied should this situation continue to dangerously escalate. In addition, NASA detected a large cloud somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean approaching the country. You are ordered to remain calm at all times, as panicking will not increase your chances of survival. Panicking will just show you're a coward, and panicking is for noobs like you, stupid idiots. Anyways, it has also begun to get really foggy across the United States as of recently. This could relate to the clouds and the current situation, but cannot be confirmed at this time. As a result, it will be very hard to see in the dark, thus making the situation more dangerous than it already Everyone across the state of Texas and across the United States are being ordered to shelter in place immediately. An underground shelter is required. If you do not have a basement, the best you can do is stay inside your home and block any and all possible entrances, including doors, windows, and fireplace dampers. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for further information. For more information about the current situation and what is going on right now, go to the United States government website. You can also go to the Federal Emergency Management Agency website. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed. Listen here, Tom. I am sick of you calling people names on the air and mocking them. It makes us look bad. Look, I'm sorry, okay? It's just fun to mock people on the air. I don't want to have to fire you, but I'm getting very close to doing so. It's just fun to mock people on the air. I mean, it's not like they're even paying attention anyway. Tom, I don't care how fun you think it is to mock people. They need to start paying attention so they don't do stupid stuff. 
Paul did it back in the day and I think he still does it today. We need to do it so they can pay attention. Besides, I enjoy mocking people on the air and calling them names that perfectly describe them. Tom, I don't care how fun you think it is to mock people. That stuff is not permitted on the air. Also, why on earth do you think it's fun to mock people? You're absolutely crazy. Okay, fine. It won't happen again. You better not. Otherwise there will be consequences. Now, get back to work. Ugh, you people are so classy. Paul, our jobs suck, and we are just trying to spice it up a bit, but Mr. Bossy is too classy and doesn't allow us to have any fun. You were right about that, Tom. Mr. Classy DOES and allow us to have any fun, making our job suck. Well, I will say, we have been getting a lot of complaints from others about how we talk on the air. Like one time, I said D's nuts during a test of the emergency alert system, and I got like six complaints from different people and I almost got fired for it. Let's just get back to work. Yeah, let's do so before Mr. Classy comes back. So Paul, is there any new information we need to broadcast? How the heck should I know? Just asking, you don't have to be rude about it. Well you e clearly asking the wrong guy, so why should it not be surprising to you? Well, you do make a good point honestly. Wait a second, I just got a notification on my phone. Let me check it out. Yeah, let's see it. This is an urgent message from the emergency alert system being transmitted at the request of the United States government, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At this time, a national state of emergency is now in effect. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test all citizens of the United States. This is an urgent message from the United States government. This is an urgent message from the emergency alert system, being transmitted at the request of the United States government, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At this time, a national state of emergency is now in effect. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test all citizens of the United States. This is an urgent message from the United States government. All citizens across the country are required to shelter in place immediately in an underground shelter. At this time, an extremely dark cloud was seen hovering above the eastern United States. People who were outside under this cloud were seen being ascended to the sky. It is unknown where these people go, but it is extremely important to follow the instructions that will be given shortly. At this time, this cloud is being treated as a threat to all life. Shelter in place immediately. I repeat, shelter in place immediately. To shelter in place, follow these instructions. Get into an underground shelter immediately. Grab plenty of food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, toiletries, a battery-powered radio, and anything you need until further notice. If you see yourself being ascended to the sky, give all you got to get away from the light. This light is being taken as a threat to all life and should not be approached for any reason. This is a very concerning situation and must not be ignored. Civil authorities will be investigating where these ascended people end up, and once they find any important information, it will be broadcasted on the emergency alert system. Quarantine has now been put into effect for the entire United States until further notice. Other countries across the globe are planning to go into quarantine as well, as this cloud is beginning to expand in all four directions. Nobody will be allowed to exit their shelters or exit or enter other states or countries while this quarantine is in effect. Should anyone violate the laws of this quarantine, that person will be arrested and charged. This person will be locked in a prison cell for the duration of this quarantine, which is expected to last for two to four weeks. If this quarantine lasts longer than a month, the quarantine will continue to be in effect until further notice. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is looking into the cause of this light randomly ascending people when they're caught inside the light. Crew members are flying into the cloud and are trying to inspect it and find any information that could relate to this crisis. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for further information. For more information about the current situation and what is going on right now, go to the United States government website.
You can also go to the Federal Emergency Management Agency website. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At this time, a global state of emergency is now in effect. The cloud that was first reported in the United States has expanded to include the rest of the world. This cloud shines light on certain people, and these people are ascended somewhere. NASA confirms that this place is not heaven, as one of their crew members also ascended into the cloud. This crew member confirms that while ascending, he passed out. A few minutes later, he woke up in a room with only one door and no windows. The door was locked however, so he couldn't escape. As of right now he remains in this room, and might be trying to escape, but all contact with him was lost a couple of minutes after several attempts of trying to escape. It is unknown what is happening to this man right now, nor where this man is, but we are taking this as a threat to humanity, and that this cloud is considered to be extremely dangerous. You are in a life-threatening situation. All flights across the United States have been cancelled indefinitely, and all sources of air travel have been shut down, as a result of this cloud expanding across the entire country. Other countries across the globe, are shutting down airports and other air travel sources for the safety of their communities. Quarantine is now in effect for the entire globe, and we are expected to remain in worldwide quarantine free up to four weeks to a month, however this is subject to change. Nobody will be allowed to exit their shelters or exit, or enter other states or countries, while this quarantine is in effect. Should anyone violate the laws of this quarantine, that person will be arrested and charged. This person will be locked in a prison cell for the duration of this quarantine, which is expected to last for two to four weeks. If this quarantine lasts longer than a month, the quarantine will continue to be in effect until further notice. Keep in mind that this policy for quarantine violations is for the United States only. Other countries across the globe will have their own policies for quarantine violations, but their policies might be the same as our policies. The entire planet is going into quarantine as a result of this cloud. This is a very concerning situation and must not be ignored. Civil authorities will be investigating where these ascended people end up, and once they find any important information, it will be broadcasted on the emergency alert system. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is looking into the cause of this light randomly ascending people when they're caught inside the light. 
crew members are flying into the cloud and are trying to inspect it and find any information that could relate to this crisis. An emergency broadcast alert about this worldwide quarantine will be transmitted in the next minute, so pay close attention to this alert, as it may answer questions about the quarantine you might have. Stay tuned to this station and other media outlets for further information. For more information about the current situation and what is going on right now, go to the United States government website. You can also go to the Federal Emergency Management Agency website. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed. This alert has been transmitted at the request of the United States government. This alert will be talking about the worldwide quarantine that is now in effect. Please pay close attention. If you're at home, remain where you are. If you're in a store, restaurant, or a hotel, remain where you are. Staff will guide you to a safe shelter. If you're outside, find the closest building or a shelter if possible. If you are five minutes away from your destination, no matter where it may be, complete your journey. Otherwise, find the closest building or a shelter if possible. If you are in the middle of nowhere, such as the woods or an unpopulated area, attempt to hide in your car if possible. If no shelter is available, attempt to find a cave or something to protect yourself. Do not attempt to lay flat on the ground. It will not work, even in any low spots. This is not a tornado. If you have kids, and they're at school or they're not with you, do not attempt to find them, or pick them up. If your kids are at school, they're being escorted to shelters with their teachers and school staff. If they're not with you, and you don't know where they are, it is not worth the search, as they could be anywhere, and might have already ascended to wherever these people go. For quarantine, pack enough food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones and computers, chargers, toiletries, blankets, important documents, all weapons, any and all valid IDs, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and anything you might need until further notice. If you somehow run out of supplies during quarantine, do not go outside and attempt to restock on supplies. Instead, call your local police department and answer any questions they might ask you. These questions may include your current location including the address of that location, your full legal name, your phone number, and any other important information they may need to identify you. Keep in mind that phone outages can occur at any time, so it is best if you save as much supplies as possible. Only use your supplies when absolutely necessary, and do not be wasteful. If you hear strange noises outside your shelter, do not attempt to investigate. If anything, or anyone attempts to harm you somehow, fight back by all means. If any family members go missing, do not attempt to find them. The only people who should be calling you are your local police department and the United States government. If anyone else tries to call you, do not answer it. The telephone should only be used for emergencies only, not calling your loved ones. The only people you should be calling, if necessary, are your local police department. Only call if you have an emergency. Should the telephone be used unintentionally during this quarantine, the caller or callers will be arrested and charged. Your calls can be traced by certain authorities, so do not take the risk. If your shelter is destroyed or is no longer inhabitable, do not attempt to remain where you are. Find another closest shelter near you, and if possible, call your local police department immediately. Most importantly, remain calm at all times. Panicking will make the situation worse. This message shall repeat every hour to ensure your survival and the safety of others. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed. in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through, for you.
This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Residents across the entire United States pay close attention to this alert and do not listen to anything else, especially nothing from the outside world. Just a few minutes ago, a loud noise was heard coming from the sky, and people who heard these noises experienced unwanted and serious side effects. These sounds somehow caused the human to have no control of themselves and have also begun to show homicidal aggression. It is unknown how these sounds control the human mind, but all civilians are being urged to put on noise-canceling headphones to drain out the noises. If someone in your shelter begins to act aggressively, quarantine them in a closet or something and make sure they cannot have any contact with you or your family. If necessary, you are free to kill that person. It is believed that these sounds are some kind of sound waves that affect the human mind mentally. These effects are irreversible and the damage is really severe. Quarantine has also been extended until further notice. The instructions for this worldwide quarantine continue to apply. All normal programming across the entire United States has been discontinued for the duration of this quarantine. Most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public whenever necessary. Remain calm at all times. Panicking will make the situation worse. This message shall repeat every hour to ensure your survival and the safety of others. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed. Repeating, this is not a test. This is the Emergency News Network, your number one source for the news, music, sports, etc. Information originates from the emergency alert system, as well as the United States government. The worldwide quarantine has been extended to last until further notice. Instructions and information about this quarantine will be broadcasted shortly. Please pay attention to this alert, as it pertains to an ongoing event that is endangering humanity. Please pay close attention to this alert and do not listen to anything else, especially nothing from the outside world. A few hours ago, a loud noise was heard coming from the sky, and people who heard these noises experienced unwanted and serious side effects. These sounds somehow caused the human to have no control of themselves and have also begun to show homicidal aggression. These noises can still be heard, however it is right now very hard to hear them. Do not attempt to listen to anything outside your home or shelter, as the sound could get loud at any time. These sounds are believed to be related to the massive cloud that's still hovering across the planet. It is still unknown how these sounds control the human mind, but all civilians are being urged to put on noise-canceling headphones to drain out the noises. Note that as of right now this is not a requirement, but is strongly recommended to avoid hearing these noises. The sounds are hard to hear right now, but this is expected to change at any time. Communication from civil authorities that have been ascended to this cloud has not been found as of yet. New information about this cloud has not been found as of yet either. Be prepared to follow any instructions once they become available. Continue to follow these instructions for your own safety. If someone in your shelter begins to act aggressively, quarantine them in a closet or something and make sure they cannot have any contact with you or your family. If necessary, you are free to kill that person. It is believed that these sounds are some kind of sound waves that affect the human mind mentally. These effects are irreversible and the damage is really severe. Quarantine has also been extended until further notice. The instructions for this worldwide quarantine continue to apply. All normal programming across the entire United States has been discontinued for the duration of this quarantine. Most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information to the public whenever necessary. The Emergency News Network will now provide the instructions for the worldwide quarantine that everyone needs to hear. These instructions will be broadcast in every hour to ensure your survival and the survival of others. Please pay close attention. If you are at home, remain where you are. If you are in a store, restaurant, or a hotel, remain where you are. Staff will guide you to a safe shelter. If you are outside, find the closest building or a shelter if possible. If you are five minutes away from your destination, no matter where it may be, complete your journey. Otherwise, find the closest building or a shelter if possible. 
If you are in the middle of nowhere, such as though it's an unpopulated area, attempt to hide in your car if possible. If no shelter is available, attempt to find a cave or something to protect yourself. Do not attempt to lay flat on the ground. It will not work, even in any low spots. This is not a tornado. If you have kids, and they're at school or they're not with you, do not attempt to find them, or pick them up. If your kids are at school, they're being escorted to shelters with their teachers and school staff. If they're not with you, and you don't know where they are, it is not worth the search, as they could be anywhere, and might have already ascended to wherever these people go. For quarantine, pack enough food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones and computers, chargers, toiletries, blankets, important documents, all weapons, any and all valid IDs, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and anything you might need until further notice. If you somehow run out of supplies during quarantine, do not go outside and attempt to restock on supplies. Instead, call your local police department and answer any questions they might ask you. These questions may include your current location including the address of that location, your full legal name, your phone number, and any other important information they may need to identify you. Keep in mind that phone outages can occur at any time, so it is best if you save as much supplies as possible. Only use your supplies when absolutely necessary, and do not be wasteful. If you hear strange noises outside your shelter, do not attempt to investigate. If anything or anyone attempts to harm you somehow, fight back by all means. If any family members go missing, do not attempt to find them. The only people who should be calling you are your local police department and the United States government. If anyone else tries to call you, do not answer it. The telephone should only be used for emergencies only, not calling your loved ones. The only people you should be calling, if necessary, are your local police department. Only call if you have an emergency. Should the telephone be used unintentionally during this quarantine, the caller or callers will be arrested and charged. Your calls can be traced by certain authorities, so do not take the risk. If your shelter is destroyed or is no longer inhabitable, do not attempt to remain where you are. Find another closest shelter near you, and if possible, call your local police department immediately. Most importantly, remain calm at all times. Panicking will make the situation worse. This message shall repeat every hour to ensure your survival and the safety of others. The Emergency News Network will continue to broadcast any new information once it becomes available. Regular programming will remain off the air. National Information Center statement. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. The cause of the noises that made people go mentally insane has been revealed. The United States government confirms this noise to be a spiritual entity that travels through the air. Its presence is in the form of blood red like particles, which are visible to the naked eye. It's basically just more air. This spiritual entity is nothing from this universe according to members of NASA and is believed to have come from a different reality. As of right now, there is currently no way to stop this entity from causing more damage. It is unknown if this entity can travel through walls or any kind of solids or surfaces, but it is confirmed that this spiritual entity can travel through air. It is like a virus, but moves quicker and doesn't spread like a virus does. Instead, it travels through air while allowing its particles to spread around a particular area. Its particles can cause a human to go mentally insane, and can even instantly kill someone, if they already have mental issues. The noises are no longer being heard, but this could change at any time. Experts across the world are currently trying to find a solution to this crisis. It, it is recommended that you put on a gas mask to ensure your safety. As a result of this threat, governmental companies and organizations are beginning to reach complete exhaustion. The United States, along with most countries on the planet, are at risk of falling to the phenomenon. You are ordered to not panic during this crisis, as panicking will not increase your chances of survival. Remain tuned to this station for further information on this event.
This is the Emergency News Network. At this time, the United States, along with most areas on the planet, are in extreme danger at this time. The United States government confirms this noise to be a spiritual entity that travels through the air. Its presence is in the form of blood red-like particles, which are visible to the naked eye. It's basically just more air. This spiritual entity is nothing from this universe according to members of NASA, and is believed to have come from a different reality. As of right now, there is currently no way to stop this entity from causing more damage. It is unknown if this entity can travel through walls or any kind of solids or surfaces, but it is confirmed that this spiritual entity can travel through air. It is like a virus, but moves quicker, and doesn't spread like a virus does. Instead, it travels through air, while allowing its particles to spread around a particular area. Its particles can cause a human to go mentally insane, and can even instantly kill someone, if they already have mental issues. The noises are no longer being heard, but this could change at any time. Experts across the world are currently trying to find a solution to this crisis. It is recommended that you put on a gas mask to ensure your safety. As a result of this threat, governmental companies and organizations are beginning to reach complete exhaustion. The United States, along with most countries on the planet, are at risk of falling to the phenomenon. This is an extremely dangerous situation and must not be ignored. There has not been a single attempt that has ended in success to contain this threat. I must ask though, does this spiritual entity relate to the massive cloud that is still hovering over the United States? Speaking of which, it has been 24 hours since a person has ascended to the sky, so it is believed that the cloud is no longer ascending people to wherever they go other than the sky. However, this is subject to change. It is unknown if the entity and the cloud are related, but they both are being taken as a threat to humanity, especially the entity. The worldwide quarantine remains in effect for the entire planet until further notice. Continue to follow the instructions for the worldwide quarantine so you can shelter in place properly. Please pay close attention. If you are at home, remain where you are. If you are in a store, restaurant, or a hotel, remain where you are. Staff will guide you to a safe shelter. If you are outside, find the closest building or a shelter if possible. If you are five minutes away from your destination, no matter where it may be, complete your journey. Otherwise, find the closest building or a shelter if possible. If you are in the middle of nowhere, such as though it's an unpopulated area, attempt to hide in your car if possible. If no shelter is available, attempt to find a cave or something to protect yourself. Do not attempt to lay flat on the ground. It will not work, even in any low spots. This is not a tornado. If you have kids, and they're at school or they are not with you, do not attempt to find them, or pick them up. If your kids are at school, they are being escorted to shelters with their teachers and school staff. If they are not with you, and you don't know where they are, it is not worth the search, as they could be anywhere and might have already ascended to wherever these people go. For quarantine, pack enough food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones and computers, chargers, toiletries, blankets, important documents, all weapons, any and all valid IDs, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and anything you might need until further notice. If you somehow run out of supplies during quarantine, do not go outside and attempt to restock on supplies. Instead, call your local police department and answer any questions they might ask you. These questions may include your current location including the address of that location, your full legal name, your phone number, and any other important information they may need to identify you. Keep in mind that phone outages can occur at any time, so it is best if you save as much supplies as possible. Only use your supplies when absolutely necessary, and do not be wasteful. If you hear strange noises outside your shelter, do not attempt to investigate. If anything or anyone attempts to harm you somehow, fight back by all means. If any family members go missing, do not attempt to find them. The only people who should be calling you are your local police department and the United States government. If anyone else tries to call you, do not answer it. The telephone should only be used for emergencies only, not calling your loved ones. The only people you should be calling, if necessary, are your local police department. Only call if you have an emergency. Should the telephone be used unintentionally during this quarantine, the caller or callers will be arrested and charged. Your calls can be traced by certain authorities, so do not take the risk. If your shelter is destroyed or is no longer inhabitable, do not attempt to remain where you are. Find another closest shelter near you, and if possible, call your local police department immediately. Most importantly, Remain calm at all times. Panicking will make the situation worse. This message shall repeat every hour to ensure your survival and the safety of others.
This is all the information we have on this event. The emergency news network will now go off the air. Tune to other news stations providing news and information on this event. Stay safe everyone, and God bless. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government. The phenomenon continues to cause chaos around the world. Researchers have revealed that this spiritual entity has actually been summoned by a group of teenagers who tried to come in contact with other dimensions, but they unintentionally summon the spiritual entity. This group of teens are nowhere to be found, but at this time they are believed to be dead. Civil authorities are trying to figure out if they can somehow get rid of the spiritual entity. As a result of particles being reported throughout the entire United States, these particles are expected to be reported in other countries across the globe and the for future. The entity seems to appear at one place, and then another shortly after. As of right now the entity is being tracked down by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and they confirm that this entity is somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. To recap, this spiritual entity was founded by the United States government, along with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. This spiritual entity was the cause of the loud noises occurring across the country a few days ago, and it travels through the air. Its presence is in the form of blood red light particles, which are visible to the naked eye. It's basically just more air. This spiritual entity is nothing from this universe according to members of NASA, and is believed to have come from a different reality. As of right now, there is currently no way to stop this entity from causing more damage. It is unknown if this entity can travel through walls or any kind of solids or surfaces, but it is confirmed that this spiritual entity can travel through air. It is like a virus, but moves quicker and doesn't spread like a virus does. Instead, it travels through air while allowing its particles to spread around a particular area. Its particles can cause a human to go mentally insane and can even instantly kill someone if they already have mental issues. The noises are no longer being heard, but this could change at any time. Experts across the world are currently trying to find a solution to this crisis. It is recommended that you put on a gas mask to ensure your safety. As a result of this threat, governmental companies and organizations are beginning to reach complete exhaustion. The United States, along with most countries on the planet, are at risk of falling to the phenomenon. In addition to all of this, civil authorities also confirmed to us just a few minutes ago that another spiritual entity similar to this one has been reported somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. It is believed that both of the entities are teaming up with each other, if not already related, to cause mayhem around the world. In addition, more spiritual entities are expected to spawn, especially in the ocean. There have been no attempts that have been in success to contain this threat. As a result, most world leaders and governments have fallen, and the United States is already really close to falling down. You are ordered to not panic during this crisis, as panicking will not increase your chances of survival. The worldwide quarantine remains in effect, as going outside is literally impossible as a result of the amount of particles there are outside as a result of these entities. Particles are everywhere, and it is impossible to go outside without either going mentally insane or instantly dying. Continue to follow the instructions we will provide right now. Please pay close attention, as this might be the last time we will provide these instructions, since the world is at stake and on the edge of falling. If you're at home, remain where you are. If you're in a store, restaurant, or a hotel, remain where you are. Staff will guide you to a safe shelter. If you're outside, find the closest building or shelter if possible. If you're five minutes away from your destination, no matter where it may be, complete your journey. Otherwise, find the closest building or shelter if possible. If you're in the middle of nowhere, such as the woods or an unpopulated area, attempt to hide in your car if possible. If no shelter is available, attempt to find a cave or something to protect yourself. Do not attempt to lay flat on the ground. It will not work, even in any low spots. This is not a tornado. If you have kids and they're at school or they're not with you, do not attempt to find them or pick them up. If your kids are at school, they are being escorted to shelters with their teachers and school staff. If they are not with you and you don't know where they are, it is not worth the search, as they could be anywhere and might have already ascended to wherever these people go. For quarantine, pack enough food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones and computers, chargers, toiletries, blankets, important documents, all weapons, any and all valid IDS, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and anything you might need until further notice. 
If you somehow run out of supplies during quarantine, do not go outside and attempt to restock on supplies. Instead, call your local police department and answer any questions they might ask you. These questions may include your current location including the address of that location, your full legal name, your phone number, and any other important information they may need to identify you. Keep in mind that phone outages can occur at any time, so it is best if you save as much supplies as possible. Only use your supplies when absolutely necessary, and do not be wasteful. If you hear strange noises outside your shelter, do not attempt to investigate. If anything or anyone attempts to harm you somehow, fight back by all means. If any family members go missing, do not attempt to find them. The only people who should be calling you are your local police department and the United States government. If anyone else tries to call you, do not answer it. The telephone should only be used for emergencies only, not calling your loved ones. The only people you should be calling if necessary are your local police department. Only call if you have an emergency. Should the telephone be used unintentionally during this quarantine, the quota callers will be arrested and charged. Your calls can be traced by certain authorities, so do not take the risk. If your shelter is destroyed or is no longer inhabitable, do not attempt to remain where you are. Find another closest shelter near you, and if possible, call your local police department immediately. Most importantly, remain calm at all times. Panicking will make the situation worse. All of this information will try to be transmitted every hour and in every alert broadcasted to ensure your survival and others, but we might be very close to the end. The emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed, and it will try to remain on the air for Civil danger warning. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government. The phenomenon continues to cause chaos around the world. We have some new information about the cloud that's ascending people. The cloud has been revealed to be a large spaceship. This spaceship is believed to be carrying all of the people it has taken away, and the ascended people are believed to be in extreme danger. This spaceship is being taken as a threat but hasn't caused anyone to ascend in the past 48 hours, so it may not be taking any more people, which is good. It isn't known what this spaceship will do next, but all residents across the world should prepare for anything, including the possibility of genocide. The United States, along with most countries on the planet are at risk of falling to the phenomenon. In addition to all of this, Civil authorities also confirmed to us just a few minutes ago that another spiritual entity similar to this one has been reported somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. It is believed that both of the entities are teaming up with each other, if not already related, to cause mayhem around the world. In addition, more spiritual entities are expected to spawn, especially in the ocean. There have been no attempts that have ended in success to contain this threat. As a result, most world leaders and governments have fallen, and the United States is already really close to falling down. You are ordered to not panic during this crisis, as panicking will not increase your chances of survival. The worldwide quarantine remains in effect, as going outside is literally impossible as a result of the amount of particles there are outside as a result of these entities. Particles are everywhere and it is impossible to go outside without either going mentally insane or instantly dying. Continue to follow the instructions we will provide right now. Please pay close attention, as this might be the last time we'll provide these instructions. Since the world is at stake and on the edge of falling, if you're at home, remain where you are. If you're in a store, restaurant, or a hotel, remain where you are. Staff will guide you to a safe shelter. If you're outside, Find the closest building or shelter if possible. If you're five minutes away from your destination, no matter where it may be, complete your journey. Otherwise, find the closest building or shelter if possible. If you're in the middle of nowhere, such as the woods or an unpopulated area, attempt to hide in your car if possible. If no shelter is available, attempt to find a cave or something to protect yourself. Do not attempt to lay flat on the ground. It will not work, even in any low spots. This is not a tornado. If you have kids and they're at school or they're not. 
with you, do not attempt to find them or pick them up. If your kids are at school, they are being escorted to shelters with their teachers and school staff. If they are not with you and you don't know where they are, it is not worth the search, as they could be anywhere and might have already ascended to wherever these people go. For quarantine, pack enough food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones and computers, chargers, toiletries, blankets, important documents, all weapons, any and all valid IDs, a battery-powered radio with extra batteries, and anything you might need until further notice. If you somehow run out of supplies during quarantine, do not go outside and attempt to restock on supplies. Instead, call your local police department and answer any questions they might ask. You. These questions may include your current location including the address of that location, your full legal name, your phone number, and any other important information they may need to identify you. Keep in mind that phone outages can occur at any time, so it is best if you save as much supplies as possible. Only use your supplies when absolutely necessary, and do not be wasteful. If you hear strange noises outside your shelter, do not attempt to investigate. If anything or anyone attempts to harm you somehow, fight back by all means. If any family members go missing, do not attempt to find them. The only people who should be calling you are your local police department and the United States government. If anyone else tries to call you, do not answer it. The telephone should only be used for emergencies only, not calling your loved ones. The only people you should be calling if necessary are your local police department. Only call if you have an emergency. Should the telephone be used unintentionally during this quarantine, the caller or callers will be arrested and charged. Your calls can be traced by certain authorities, so do not take the risk. If your shelter is destroyed or is no longer inhabitable, do not attempt to remain where you are. Find another closest shelter near you, and if possible, call your local police department immediately. Most importantly, remain calm at all times. Panicking will make the situation worse. All of this information will try to be transmitted every hour and in every alert broadcasted to ensure your survival and others, but we might be very close to the end. You are ordered to not panic during this time, as panicking will not increase your chances of survival. You know what else will decrease your survival chances? D's nuts. Got em lol. Anyways, the emergency alert system has been activated to keep you informed, and will try to remain on the air. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government. The cloud that was causing people to ascend to the sky has disappeared. All contact with the people who got ascended was lost too. It is believed that this cloud has faded away from existence, meaning that the cloud, along with everyone inside it no longer exists. This is not confirmed yet, as there is a chance where it could come back at any time. The threat is not over yet sadly, as the spiritual entities are still present, spreading their particles around the world and causing chaos. The worldwide quarantine continues to apply. Continue to follow the instructions that will be provided shortly. Please stand by.
This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is an all clear message. The spiritual entities have disappeared, and their particles have disappeared as well. Civil authorities are saying that the threat is over, and that it is safe to leave your shelters. There is massive damage to the planet, so it is best to stay in your shelters, as it might be very hard to get to other places due to roads being completely destroyed. However, be prepared to follow any new instructions if they become necessary, because while this event is said to be over, by no means are we confirmed to be safe from whatever tried to attack us. This concludes all operations of the emergency alert system. Brigitte Programming may now resume at this time. So, the cloud causing people to ascend was actually trying to help us? That's what we believe Paul. The hijacked messages honestly do make sense because we just experienced an outbreak of these spiritual entities. Well, it can return now because the threat is over. I don't think it's that simple Paul. What do you mean Tom? Well, it's been about 12 hours since the threat ended, and so far it has still not returned. I think the message also said that it wasn't coming back for any more people since we all tried to hide from the protagonist. What worries me the most is that because it's not retuning, it kinda tells me that the threat of global annihilation is still at large. Oh frick, that's so true actually. If he DOES and return, the threat of whatever this thing is is still lurking around us. Tom, we should probably warn the community about this because we might be in for a bad ending here. I agree Paul. 
This good ending might be a decoy. Tom, do you know how inappropriate that was? Wait, what? Oh, right, I said these nuts on the air. Lol, wasn't that hilarious? Tom, are you nuts? No, I'm these nuts. Lol. Oh, shut up. Just shut up. What does these nuts have to do with anything? Oh, crap, I just said it now. Tom, do you know how inappropriate that was? That's it. You're fired. Get out now. Oh, come on, it was funny. Tom, he said you e fired. Give it up. All right. I will pack my stuff and get going, sir. And the emergency alert system will be boring as frick once again considering nobody listens to it anymore. Not my frickin' problem. Well, someone in a bad mood today. Is this what giving up feels like? I don't know, I don't know. Tell me have I lost my mind Nowhere to go So far from home Is this what giving up feels like? I don't know I don't know Tell me have I lost my mind So I break these walls and hold my head up high And I step my ground until the day I die Welcome back to the Emergency News Network. We are back on the air right now, but we might go off again shortly. As of right now, the entire planet might still be in danger at this time. There were messages from the cloud that were sending people, uh, known as the protagonist, that were saying they were trying to help humanity from the current event being broadcasted in the air. This was believed to be a hijacking at first, but civil authorities were getting concerned about something. The protagonist has disappeared, and if that thing was trying to help humanity, it would probably return since the threat of the spiritual entities was said to be contained. So far, the cloud has not returned. However, the idea about this cloud helping humanity may not be true, but civil authorities are believing that it is true since the spiritual entities in the cloud don't seem to be connected or related in any way. As a precaution, all residents across the entire United States are being advised to return to your shelters if your still exists. If you do not have the shelter, call your local police department and they will take you to some shelters that civil authorities are building for their state communities, since most residential shelters across the country were destroyed while the threat was still at large. Although this is not a requirement, it is still recommended for your safety. If the threat is not over yet and is still uncontained, a worldwide emergency may occur. So far, that's all we know. We will provide more information and updates on this event once it becomes available. We will remain on the air providing news and information to the public and assigned areas. All other attractions on this station will be discontinued indefinitely due to this ongoing global event. Remain tuned and follow any instructions that will be provided shortly. It has been three days since the protagonist disappeared. Tom, I don't think it coming back if he actually telling the truth about the danger that might still remain. I think you're right Paul, but I didn't see or hear any danger in the past 72 hours, so maybe this whole thing about this threat still being at large is just a hoax. But then again, I don't think this is a hoax because so far everything I've seen since the moment this all started was super real. Tom. What if the protagonist and the spiritual entities don't relate to each other? What if the protagonist is the good guy here? Well, whatever is gonna happen next I have a feeling we e not gonna be able to avoid this one since the protagonist was trying to help people by going to a different reality. This is some freaky crap here bro Paul. Yeah, 
This is some freaky crap here. If the protagonist is not returning, that could only mean one thing. We are still in danger. We need to warn the community, because I think we have a big surprise coming our way. Welcome back to the Emergency News Network. We are back on the air right now, but we might go off again shortly. As of right now, the entire planet might still be in danger at this time. There were messages from the cloud that were sending people, that known as the protagonist, that were saying they were trying to help humanity from the current event being broadcasted in the air. This was believed to be a hijacking at first, but civil authorities were getting concerned about something. The protagonist has disappeared, and if that thing was trying to help humanity, it would probably return since the threat of the spiritual entities was said to be contained. However, it has been three days since the threat was contained and, so far, the cloud has not returned. However, the idea about this cloud helping humanity may not be true, but civil authorities are believing that it is true since the spiritual entities in the cloud don't seem to be connected or related in any way. As a precaution, all residents across the entire United States are being advised to return to your shelters if yours still exists. If you do not have the shelter, call your local police department and they will take you to some shelters that civil authorities are building for their state communities, since most residential shelters across the country were destroyed while the threat was still at large. Although this is not a requirement, it is still recommended for your safety. So far, that's all we know. We will provide more information and updates on this event once it becomes available. We will remain on the air providing news and information to the public and assigned areas. All other attractions on this station will be discontinued indefinitely due to this ongoing global event. Remain tuned and follow any instructions that will be provided shortly. This is an urgent message from the United States government. Please pay attention to this alert, as the information we will provide you is vital to your survival. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test. Please pay close attention and follow instructions. This message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. We have reason to believe that the threat is not over yet, but cannot be confirmed at this time. There were messages from the cloud that were sending people, that known as the protagonist, that were saying they were trying to help humanity from the current event being broadcasted in the air. This was believed to be a hijacking at first, but civil authorities were getting concerned about something. The protagonist has disappeared, and if that thing was trying to help humanity, it would probably return since the threat of the spiritual entities was said to be contained. However, it has been three days since the threat was contained and, so far, the cloud has not returned. However, the idea about this cloud helping humanity may not be true, but civil authorities are believing that it is true since the spiritual entities in the cloud don't seem to be connected or related in any way. As a precaution, all residents across the entire United States are being advised to return to your shelters if yours still exists. If you do not have the shelter, call your local police department and they will take you to some shelters that civil authorities are building for their state communities, since most residential shelters across the country were destroyed while the threat was still at large. Although this is not a requirement, it is still recommended for your safety. Remain tuned to this station for more information and updates on this situation. Interrupt your regular programming. This is a global emergency. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. 
Our world is slowly coming to an end. At approximately 2.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the ground suddenly turned into a bright red color, similar to the color of the particles from the spiritual entities. This is causing people to go into the insane or die instantly, even in underground shelters. This is happening in every continent or across the planet. It is believed that the spiritual entities have made the particles that they spread across the world turn Earth into a bunch of these particles, and it is said that the particles will convert the entire planet of Earth into these particles in the next 24 hours. There is no possible way of stopping this cataclysm. Humanity has fallen to these entities. This would be the death of mankind. Please follow these instructions, as your life is about to come to an end.